tutorial, we are learning how to initially prepare your water system. When you unpack your box, you will have the following. An upper lid for the upper tank, the upper tank, the lower tank, and the base. Inside the upper tank, you will find the following. A booster ring, a mineral cartridge, and a ceramic filter. On the back of the ceramic filter, there will be a wing nut, and if you unscrew the wing nut, you will find a washer. Fill up a large container, preferably a pitcher, with water. You can use tap water or drinking water as we are just using this to flush the mineral cartridge. Take your mineral cartridge and completely submerge it in the pitcher of water. You will notice when you submerge it that air bubbles begin to come out of the top. You want to see those. Continue to twist and shake while you put the cartridge in to make sure all of the air bubbles have come out. Once you no longer see the air bubbles, allow the cartridge to soak in the water for a minimum of one or as many as six hours. After you've let it sit, you can then take the mineral cartridge out and when you drain it, there will be a carbon dust. So if this is turning dark, that's what it's supposed to look like. Continue to dunk the cartridge until you no longer see the carbon dust coming out of the box. Take the ceramic filter and unscrew the wing nut if it's attached to it. There will be a washer on the back and you can just leave that there. Next, take the filter over to the sink and allow the water to run over it. You're wanting to get all the debris that may have come from the manufacturer off of it, so make sure that you hold it vertically not horizontally like this. Stick the nozzle of the ceramic filter through the small hole in the upper tank, making sure that the washer is flush against it. Then take your wing nut and screw it on to the back. Installing the prepared mineral cartridge is as easy as twisting it over the wing nut. Twist it clockwise and you're done. To flush the booster, you can either soak it in water for one hour or take it to the sink and run it under water for five to 10 minutes to make sure that it's completely flushed. Once you've flushed it, take it feet down and place it in the center of the lower tank. As you can see, it is in there. With your system fully assembled, fill the top tank with water. Make sure that you fill it to the top. For best results, discard the first two tanks. Weekly to bi-weekly maintenance is required to keep your system running optimally. To do this, you're going to remove the filter and the mineral cartridge from the unit. Once you've done this, you can take soap or water with a little bit of vinegar and rinse out the entire inside of the bottom tank and the upper tank. Make sure not to have any vinegar or soap get on the filter or the cartridge. You can then take the filter and under running water, hold it vertically and lightly brush it like this with either your hand or a sponge. To clean the cartridge, you will take it and submerge it in water, twisting and shaking like this. You'll do this for probably about two minutes to make sure that any 
extra sediment or carbon has filtered through. Once you've done this, you can take your filter and your cartridge, put them back in your tank, and you're ready to use your system again.